we're going to continue with the laws of exponents. Uh, from our previous video, we look at the product and the quotient law. And I told you what exponential is. Exponential simply means the highest integer value. Now we're going to look at um, the zero exponent, zero exponent law. So if I have, for instance, a to exponential zero is one, it's just a law. So if I have, for instance, x exponential five, y exponential seven, z exponential three over x exponential seven, y exponential ten, all to zero. You don't need to solve anything. Because this is like the base, the fractional form, and the exponent is zero. So anything to the exponent zero is one. So my result will be one in this case. All right. Now I can have something like um, let's say a to x divided by a to x. So that would be a. Since they have the same base, I'll take one of the base and find the difference of their exponents, so it should be a to zero. So a to zero will give me one. So that is all about the zero power law. Now we're going to look at the negative exponent. Negative exponent law. Let me call it that way. Negative exponent law. That shows that the exponent is negative. For instance, if I have a, the exponent is negative x. Now, for negative exponent law, there are two conditions. Let's say this is this a over b negative x. So, in the first one, my base is like in a whole number form. In the second one, my base is like in a fractional form. For negative, now when the base is like when the uh, when you have a base which is in the whole number form, now what you do, your result will be the negative sign represents one over. Then you reproduce a to x, a to exponential x. So this would be our result for that. Now for the one with a fractional base. In order to get rid of this negative, you find the inverse of this. So the inverse of a over b is b over a, so b over a to x. So that's the result. So for instance, if I have, um, let's say, 2 to exponential negative 3, so because I have a negative exponent, this negative means 1 over, so I'll reproduce this 2 to exponential 3, which is 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which would give me 1 over 8. So that's that. Now, let's solve another problem. Let's say I have um, 2 over 3, negative 2. Now, in this case, I have a negative exponent, or my base is in fractional form. So what happens is that the negative sign disappears, the fractional base becomes the inverse, so my result will be 3 over 2, all to exponential 2. So this simply means 3 exponential 2 over 2 exponential 2, so 3 so 2 means 3 times 3 over 2 times 2. So this will give me 9 over 4. So that is my result. So we're going to take um, one more law. I'm going to call it the double exponent. Double exponent. Now, if I have a exponent x then y. Now if you look at this, I have double exponents. So 
So for double the exponent, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just find the product of the exponent. So my results will be a exponent x times y, which is a x exponent xy. So therefore, if I have, let's say, um, x raised to the power 3, exponent 2, all squared. So I'm going to multiply the power, so x will be 3 times 2, which will give me x raised to the power 6, or x, 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 x exponential 6. If I have x um, exponent 6 all to 1 half, you can see I have double exponents. Now, if you have double exponent, all you need to do is to multiply. So x exponent 6 times 1 half, here 1, here 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, so I have x exponent 3. Alright, this is all we'll be taking for now. Thanks for watching my video. Please always subscribe on my channel. Always subscribe on my channel. Click on the like button. God bless you. Bye-bye.